Tables were added to the 2007 release of Excel and provide exceptional functionality as automatically expanding and contracting ranges of data. However, you can increase the usefulness of tables significantly if you add slicer filters to your tables so that you can filter table data more quickly and easily. In this tip, you will learn how to add these filters to your tables. Slicer filters appeared with the 2010 release of Excel and at that time, you could only use them to filter data in pivot tables. However, beginning with the 2013 release of Excel, you can use slicers also to filter data in tables. Now notably, slicers do not add any additional filtering capabilities above and beyond those found in the traditional drop-down filters. Rather, slicers make it easier and faster to apply filters to tables, and also to pivot tables and pivot charts. To add a slicer filter to a table, simply click on the table and choose Insert Slicer from the Table Tools Design tab of the ribbon. Next, check the box next to each field in the table for which you want a slicer to appear. In this example, we choose only to filter the data by service line. After you select the field or fields for which you want to add a slicer, click OK to close the Insert Slicer dialog, and upon doing so, Excel adds the slicer to the worksheet. Now that the slicer has been added to the worksheet, we can drag and drop to reposition it and also to resize it as well as customize the format of the slicer by manipulating the options on the Slicer Tools Options tab of the ribbon. Most importantly, now that the slicer has been added to the sheet, we can filter all of the data in the table simply by clicking on any of the buttons in the slicer filter. For example, clicking on the Cloud Services button filters the entire table just to those transactions that match up with the Cloud Services service line. Now notably, because we also used subtotal functions in each of the formulas in cell D1 and E1, as the data in the table filters, our totals update as well. Of course, if necessary, we can also add additional slicer filters and then filter the table on multiple fields simultaneously. Tables are one of Excel's most powerful features. However, when you add slicer filters to your tables, you really extend their usefulness by making it easier for you and your team members to quickly filter the tables without having to resort to traditional drop-down filters. When working with tables, do not overlook the usefulness of slicers. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.